Well, office vacancy is expected to increase across the country and the and the city. Uh, with more people working from home or adapting to a hybrid schedule, employers are finding that 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, well, in the office, though, that's not the norm anymore. Yeah, it sure is. And since the number of empty office buildings really is growing, the number of affordable homes is dropping, and it's led to more calls to convert those offices into apartments. It would help address the city's housing crisis, but there's a lot of red tape preventing it from moving forward. Yeah, so joining us now to talk about this is Michael Liebman, a New York real estate analyst and VP of Wealthway Equity Group. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. All right, so let's talk about it. If New York City were to convert, you know, this office space into housing, how many potential homes are we talking about? So good question. The mayor's office put out a number estimating over the next decade you could be seeing with conversions somewhere between 20 to 40,000 uh, apartment units created. So pretty good number to put a dent in this uh, housing crisis we have. Yeah, it sure would be. So let's talk about this. What regulations and rules are preventing this from happening right now? Well, zoning is one thing. I mean, you ha you're going to have to rezone these commercial spaces. So if I have an office building in, say, you know, Midtown, they're going to have to rezone that and, and really expedite the process because rezoning can take years in some cases. That and other little things like built changing certain building codes, like, you know, for instance, um, every apartment has to have air and light go through it. And a lot of these apartment, these office buildings that are going to need to be converted have excessive interior space. So what are you going to do with that? How does that work? These are questions that I think a lot of people are going to be asking. All right, so Mike, was there anything that can happen in the short term to get these office buildings converted into homes? Yes, I think the reality is, look, real estate is a political industry, and you're going to need elected officials to help out. And one thing, and you're going to need the property owners to help out as well and meet in the middle. So I would say you know, things such as subsidies or bringing back certain tax abatement programs for conversions. You know, look at the 1990s. If you look at Lower Manhattan, a lot of those buildings were empty. And what happened, the city got together with local developers, and a lot of those properties in downtown Manhattan are prime real estate. They changed coding, zoning, and gave abatements, and some of the nicest restaurants, clubs, and stores are all down there. And I think the same thing can happen with um, office building conversions. So talking about office uh, conversion, it wouldn't just have an effect on the housing crisis. How could it impact New York City communities as a whole? Well, a number of things, positive and negative. Yeah. Um, one thing is instead of having, for instance, these off these empty office buildings, you can make them residential. And what would happen is you have now people living here. You know, we have a little bit of a problem with losing our population to other states, other cities. I think if we convert these to homes, we could keep up the growth of the population in New York City. And also, with that, instead of people coming in from other areas, having them here will help, you know, spur the growth of our economy. And, you know, other concerns may be things like environmental concerns. How will this affect the environment of this community? Um, other things like, you know, school crowding. If you turn these office buildings into residential buildings, maybe a lot of young families will move into these buildings. And with that comes kids. You know, will that lead to overcrowding in the schools? Things like that. Sure. All right. Well, Michael, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Have a great day.